Hey guys, today we are going to talk about systems of equations. We're gonna answer the question, how do I know when to use each method to solve a system of equations? So we've talked about graphing, substitution, and elimination. Let's start with graphing. So graphing is best used when both equations are in slope intercept form and when an estimated solution is sufficient. So this is not usually a way that we will solve a system of equations just because it's usually an estimated solution. You can't always verify it unless you verify it algebraically. Um, but sometimes it's also good to just get a visual of this system. So let's solve this one by graphing. As you can see, they're both in slope intercept form. They're both set equal to y. So let's start with this first one. y equals x plus four. That means I have a y intercept of four and then my slope is one. So I'm gonna go up one, right one. And then from the y intercept, I can also go down one, left one. So there is the first line in this system. Let's graph the second line, y equals negative two x minus two. So that y-intercept is negative two, and then the slope is also negative two. So I'm gonna go down two, right one. From the y-intercept, I can also go up two, left one. And from the graph, it looks like my solution is right here at negative two, positive two. So graphing is not one that we usually use just because the only way to verify that you have an exact answer is algebraically, but it is a good way to visualize this system. So let's look at substitution. Substitution is best used when one of the variables is already isolated or if the variable could be easily isolated. Substitution is a method that always works, but sometimes elimination is easier. So let's look at this system. This is definitely one that you would want to solve by substitution since x is already isolated. x equals 2y minus 5. So in that bottom equation, we're going to replace x with 2y minus 5. So this is going to be three times x is two y minus five, and then minus four y equals 10. And now I just need to solve for y. So three times two y is six y, three times negative five is negative 15, and then minus four y equals 10. And now I'm going to combine like terms, 6y minus 4y would be 2y. So this becomes 2y minus 15 equals 10. Going to move this up here, 2y minus 15 equals 10. Okay, now I need to finish solving for y by adding 15 to both sides. And I get 2y equals 25 and then I'm gonna divide by two. And 25 divided by two is 12.5. So I have y, it is 12.5. So now I'm going to take the original, or that x equals equation, and I'm going to substitute in 12.5 for y to determine x. So it'll be x equals two times y. I just found it, it was 12.5 minus five. So two times 12.5 is 25, and then 25 minus five is 20. So x equals 20. So now I have both variables for my solution. X is 20, y is 12.5. So that means the solution is 20, 12.5. Okay, then the last method is elimination. This is best used when the variables are lined up or when there are matching or opposite coefficients. So on this one, I would definitely use elimination because as you can see, it's gonna be easy to eliminate those X's. You could use substitution, substitution always works, but elimination is gonna be the easier way here. So I need to subtract this whole bottom equation, which means I'm gonna distribute that negative to everything. So top equation stays the same, five X plus 
3y equals 22. And then the bottom equation becomes negative 5x plus 2y equals negative 2. And now I can combine these and the x's will eliminate and then 3y plus 2y is 5y and 22 plus negative 2 is 20. And then we're going to divide by 5. So y equals 4. So I have y, it is 4. Now I'm going to plug it into one of the original equations to solve for x. So I'm just going to plug into that top equation. So it'll be 5x plus 3 times y, I found it, it was 4, equals 22. So 5x plus 12 equals 22. And then I'm going to subtract 12 and I get 5x equals 10 and then we'll divide by 5. So x equals 2. So I have the x value, I have the y value. So the solution to this system is 2, 4. Okay, so now we are going to decide on numbers one through three, which system would be best solved using substitution, elimination, or either, and then we will solve it using the method that we choose. So number one, I can see that the variables are already lined up, and if I subtract, it's gonna be easy to eliminate those y's. So I'm gonna go ahead and use elimination on number one. And I'm going to use elimination by subtracting this bottom equation. And I'm going to rewrite everything after I distribute that negative. So the top equation is going to stay the same, 5x plus 7y equals 2. And then that bottom equation will become positive 2x minus 7y equals negative 9. And now I'm going to combine these equations. 5x plus 2x is 7x. 7y plus negative 7y eliminates, and then 2 plus negative 9 is negative 7. So then I divide by 7, and I get that x equals negative 1. So I have x, now I'm going to use it to find y. So I'm going to plug into that original top equation. So this will be 5 times x was negative 1 plus 7y equals 2. So 5 times negative 1 is negative 5, negative 5 plus 7y equals 2. I'm going to add 5 now, and I get 7y equals 7, and then we'll divide by 7, and we get that y is 1. So I have the x value, I have the y value. So the solution to this system is negative 1, 1. Okay, number 2. I have an isolated variable y. So it's going to be really easy to substitute in x plus 9 for y in this bottom equation. So this one I would definitely say is best used by substitution. Okay, so let's substitute y equals x plus 9. So I'm going to replace y in that other equation with x plus 9. So then it'll become 3x plus 8 times x plus 9 equals negative 5. And then I'm going to distribute and I get 3x plus 8x plus 72 equals negative 5. Then I need to combine it like terms 3x plus 8x is 11x. So 11x plus 72 equals negative 5. And then I'm going to subtract 72 from both sides. And I get 11x equals negative 77. And then we divide by 11. And we get x equals negative 7. 
So I have the x value, it's negative seven. Now I just need to find y. So I'm going to plug into y equals x plus nine to find y. So it'll be y equals x was negative seven and then plus nine. And negative seven plus nine is two, so y equals two. So I have the x value, negative seven. I have the y value two. So that means the solution to this system is negative seven, two. Okay, and last one, I have two x plus six y equals negative eight and x plus x minus three y equals eight. So on this one, I could see either method working because the variables are already lined up. Even though we don't have matching coefficients, it would be easy to create matching coefficients. I could also see substitution working well because it would be easy to get the x by itself here. All you would have to do is add three y. So this would be an instance where either of them would work. It is totally your preference, just whether you like elimination or substitution better. I personally like substitution better, so I'm going to use substitution on this one. But elimination would work just fine like we talked about. Okay, so like we talked about, I am going to use substitution on this problem. I'm going to get that x by itself, and I'm going to do that by adding 3y to both sides. And I get x equals 3y plus 8. So I found out what x is. It's 3y plus 8. So I'm going to replace x in that top equation with 3y plus 8. So it'll be 2 times 3y plus 8 plus 6y equals negative 8. So now I need to distribute. And I get 6y plus 16 plus 6y equals negative 8. And then I'm going to combine like terms. 6y plus 6y is 12y plus 16 equals negative 8. I'm going to subtract 16 from both sides. And I get 12y equals negative 24. And then we'll divide by 12 and we get y equals negative two. So I have the y value, it is negative two. So in that rearranged equation, I'm going to replace y with negative two to solve for x. So x will equal negative six plus eight, so x equals two. So I have the x value, it's, neg or it's positive two, and then I have the y value, it is negative two, so the solution to this system is two, negative two.